What are you feeling now, Ken? I can't believe this. I... <sighs>
you, you're a green card holder. Um, do you like how does that work? Do you have to renew it every yeah. so often? I, I let it go. I I I had it. It was valid until uh, 2018. Until 2018. February, February. I'm sorry, Joseph. November. Mm, so now being 2023 uh it, it it's expired way is what you're saying way over. way over okay so uh with your social security benefits how does that affect your social security benefits do you think because it you are it shouldn't affect my my my, my, my green card or all, all its validity i own that that's the social security I own for my earnings. It, it works like, um, like. Um, so it's a privilege, is what you're saying. Yes, it's not a right. I'm, I'm all that. Okay. Uh -uh. It's like, like, like my pension. Okay, because uh, a few commenters have indicated, you know, like, uh, but I, I don't know anything about that because um, uh, I'm only 45 years old and I am a U.S. citizen, so um, the, not for anybody to misinterpret what I'm saying, but, you know, like, uh, your specific situation is not applicable to me, so uh, I've never made an effort to know, uh, so we're just in the process of finding out what the facts are, what we can do. Um do you remember when was the last time you received your social security benefits from the u.s in september last year september last year so that's when it stopped so okay yeah, that, that's why it cut me off okay that's why i cut you off do you remember um i, I don't want to say the name of the american pastor that you know we, we talked about because once again he's not here to you know like uh, tell his side of the story so i don't want to say bad about anybody i know you went through a very bad experience but do you suspect that he uh, might? Well, when when did you have the interaction with uh, that that American pastor? Oh, that guy here. Yeah. yeah, like um the expat. Yeah, like um. Do you remember when the, your interaction with him was? He was in um. Was it before or after your social security stopped? After. After. Yeah. Because that I was trying to get some responses from the, the social security system, and nobody, nobody was talking to me. It was sad. It, it was we weren't responding. Okay. Okay. So Ken, I, I've um, th there's this very. I have a subscriber here that you know her name is uh, Marissa Lake. Uh, I'm not quite sure exactly where she's from, but she's given me like a very detailed communication on how to investigate into your uh, social security benefits. And um, uh, I meant to have, you know, like uh, a conversation with Paul McGill of uh, Paul in the Philippines, Old Dog New Tricks. He's uh, an expert with these kind of uh, benefits. Unfortunately, I didn't quite make it down to Dumaguete. So um, I indicated to Paul that I'll find out, you know, as much information as I can from you. So um, I, I can call Paul via, uh, you know, like a phone call. So I can convey your specific situation to him. And then uh, what we'll do today is uh, that we, I will go through Marissa's uh, messages thoroughly and do as much as we can on this side. And whatever it is that we cannot figure out, you know, then I will go ahead and follow up with uh, uh, Paul McGill. And um, uh, hopefully we can gain some wisdom from him to get this resolved. So it's not going to get resolved today because of my um, inexperience. Uh, what are you looking for? No. I, ch ch chicken. I got my phone with me. Oh, okay. Excellent. Okay. Um, yeah. You let me know if, you know, like... Um, uh, you need to rest or you feel overwhelmed or whatever. So I'm okay. We, okay, okay. Excellent. So, yeah, uh, we will get 
started today into digging into your uh, benefit situation. Okay. Yeah, originally I wanted to avoid in doing this because I wanted to avoid in uh, knowing your, you know, like personal information, social mm -hmm. security number and stuff like that. Uh, but because of what transpired, you know, JRC is in the process of, did you want to say something, Kim? No, no, you, you can open up. Ask me any questions. I'm totally open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, we're not going to say anything on, on camera and, you know, and, and uh, jeopardize your personal information. But what I'm saying is, uh, be, you know, what, what triggered this is that, you know, like um, since JRC is involved and they are, um, I'm sorry, let me close the door because the, the, the noise outside is bothering you, isn't it? No, no, no. Oh, okay. Okay, so, um, yeah, JRC, you know, uh, while they're filing motions... <laughs> J JRC. Yeah, JRC, the immigration company oh, that, yeah. that made arrangements for you to go see the doctors and yeah, the results yeah, and stuff yeah. like that. Yeah, we still haven't had... Well, they received the results, but they have it not forwarded to me. They said they're going to do that today. Okay. So we're going to go ahead and take a look at that. And um, uh, based on, you know, like how intrusive the, the information is, you know, I might or might not update it on camera. Uh, but, you know, if it's... Uh, uh, if I deem for it to be too private, then, you know, I, I would uh, not do that. Uh, but, you know, like, uh, they will update me with the situation. They have made filings. So when they started their filing, they, you know, indicated to us that uh, the filing with the um, Filipino immigration to even grant you the ability to pay for your overstay penalties, you know, like uh, that filing, that motion is going to take anywhere between 30 to 40, 40 days. So between the 30 and 40 days, that's quite, you know, like uh, some time, it's still a lot shorter than your three to four month uh, consulate queue, uh, only just to get the decision, you know, who are, whether they're gonna look at your case or not, uh, it's not a, a decision, but you know, like the JRC process, I deem for it to be like um, uh, much quicker, and uh, that's where I'm going to invest my effort. So uh, for the next 30 to 45 days, I want to help you with the uh, recuperating your benefits, you know, like uh, as much I can. Hopefully, we're successful, so you can have access to mm. some fundings. Please God. Yeah, to survive and, um, you know, even to, you know, like do whatever you want. I, I know you, you mentioned a few times that you wanted to contribute to Bernadetta and helping you and stuff like that, but that's your choice. I'm not going to tell you what to do. Uh, yeah. Is this mine? Yeah, that's yours. Yeah. Yeah, and by the way, you know, I just want everybody to stay informed here uh, that I walked over to Ken, you know, to, to Ken's uh, place of residence, and together we walked to my house so Ken can um, uh, have a, a hot meal today. And uh, initially, when everybody saw the video of Ken eating the bacon, you know, like uh, after he ate the bacon, I, when I walked him home, you know, it was a very short distance. He took three breaks to get from uh, my house to his house. Uh, and today, he walked without a break from his house to my house, which is obviously the same distance, but opposite direction uh, with zero breaks. So, um, you know, like his health has improved a lot. His um, cognitive abilities has improved a lot as well. So, you know, like um, things are looking good, you know, or at least on the positive note. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You agree with that, Ken? Uh, yes, absolutely. What do you think the uh, contributes to that? Do you think it's your positive spirits now, hope, or is it your your little improvement in your diet? Well, it's both uh, your, your your spirit in in driving me along. That's big. That's huge. And my my, my diet, I'm I'm getting some some. Some extra food now, and I'm, that's that's helping me a lot. Yeah, and we'll get you get you some veg before you go home today. We'll we'll uh, prepare some fruit and vegetables for you today, especially mangoes, oh, uh, so you. you can get some uh, vitamins. You know, mangoes are are pretty uh, 
uh, rich in uh, vitamins yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. So uh, we'll, we'll do that. And of course, you know, like we'll do our best in, you know, since we're just neighbors. Are you okay? Yeah, yeah. You're feeling pain? Or... No, no, no. Oh, okay. Because you're, you're, you have that, uh, <laughs> you're squinting your eyes. <laughs> no, no. My, my eyes, sometimes uh, they're good, sometimes they're not. Oh, the focus. Okay, because of your operation, your eye op operation. Yeah. So you lose focus and stuff like no, that. No, because of my accident. Right. Yeah. Right. I, I didn't have an operation. Yeah. Oh, you did not have an operation. The operation that you're referring to is the... I had a... I had a, a, a replacement... Uh, well, what's the word? Um, in my eyes, I had surgery in my eyes in the, in the UK in my in twenty seventeen. Mm -hmm. Um, what else was I going to say? Um, and I, I had no attention from anybody, anywhere. Uh, when, I, when I had, when I fell, when I had, I damaged my eyes, I damaged my, my I probably had some kind of damage brain. To your brain? I think that must have been because that's when my eyes failed me. Okay. Do you think uh, like a new prescription will will, will help the, the will help the situation, or do you think it's not? You know, it's. Uh... I don't know. What I'm faced with now uh -huh. is I can't. I don't have clear vision. Uh huh. I can I can see fine, although it's very faded. Uh huh. But one of the one of the things that I'm suffering with is in my eyes in. Since the surgery, I've got this con cons constant red, tiny little red dots. My, my, they don't go away. Have, have you tried to repair that through, you know, like, uh, you know, I, I, I'm listening to you and I'm, um, I, I don't, you know, because I've never gone through that, you know, or known anybody who went through that, you know, situation. So I, don't have a full understanding of what you're going through but I'm listening and I'm trying my best to to understand but I was just wondering is that you know like a, a something that is uh, correctable or I don't know you don't know I, okay I've never had anybody try to solve it since, since it happened do you think that can be corrected with like a new glasses no, or, no it has to be surgical yeah Okay, understood, understood. So it wouldn't help if I took you to the optometrist right now? I don't think so. You don't think so? Okay. Okay, well, I can see the white on this table. And as we were talking, suddenly I'll go off into this red dot situation. Oh. Um, yeah, it's probably your optical nerves, but again, I have no idea what it is. That that would just be my uh, wild, wild guess. But uh, yeah, I mean, when you're squinting like that, I just thought, you know, like uh, you need some rest or you're bothered or something like that. No, no, no. I'm, okay. I'm okay. Okay. I just want to make sure. <laughs> okay. But uh, yeah, I mean, other than that, Ken, you know, like um, I have another family. I don't, uh, I'm not prepared with the, um, uh, the username or the name of the person, but they reached out and indicated that they live very close to London. And um, they live very close to London, one of the viewers. And uh, they indicated that once you touch down there, they're, you know, like uh, more than willing to uh, assist you through navigating the hospitals and stuff like that. And even if you need a place to stay because they don't have, because you don't have uh, living relatives, um, mm -hmm. right? Uh, they are willing to open up their house for you. You know, oh like uh, it's he and his Filipino wife, and uh, you, you know they can house you a little bit until you know, like, uh, and help you navigate through the social service. You know, like uh, um, 
system, you know. Uh, me, you know, I, I have zero experience, never visited the UK, any countries within the UK. So, um, we drive on the other side. What's that? We drive on the other side. Yeah, you drive on the other side. That's the only thing I know about it. And Big Ben. Big Ben. <laughs> In London. That's the only thing I know about, the, about the UK. In the Tower of London? Yeah, it's out of London. Ch and, uh, the Tower. Oh, the Tower of London. Yeah, I don't even know. Oh, West Westminster. <laughs> Westminster Abbey. Yeah, Westminster Abbey. Yeah, you just know these, uh, you know, like tourists. I, sat, I sang there. Well, that I don't know. I oh, see. fish and chips. I know fish yeah, and chips. Yeah. All uh, the stereotypical things, but other than that, I don't know anything. So uh, that's why I'm I'm ill prepared to you know like assist you with that. But fortunately, you know, like your uh, first video has gone very viral, and a lot of uh, uh, the yeah. viewers who view the first vid video uh, did look at your follow ups and stuff like that. We have a lot of um, uh, people volunteer and you know like reach out with messages. So much so that I cannot keep up with the messages. My entire day is consumed with, you know, reading all the messages. And I wanted to read all the messages just to make sure that I didn't miss anything important. Uh, but at the same time, you know, it's just um, uh, consumes my entire day <laughs> to sort out the messages. The messages for me? No, no, no. Uh, for uh, commenting on, oh, yeah. you know, the willingness to help or what they, sh you know, what Ken should do or just advises. A lot of them are irrelevant. Uh, but a lot of them are also relevant. Mm -hmm. uh, it gives me a good clue on where to look in the internet to resolve uh, whatever the, the topic was. Uh, and today, specifically, we want to uh, go about your uh, social security uh, um, benefits recuperation. And let me understand your UK pension. Uh, there's, no, there's no problems with that, right? No. Okay. Uh, I... I my pension is in my savings, but they don't allow me to send it out of the country, but it's out, away from... Like your... Okay, let me repeat that. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong, just to make sure I'm not uh, misunderstanding you. So the UK pension, the, uh, the government, the UK government have been consistently sending it to your savings account in the UK. Well, no, yeah, they, 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 they don't pay. When I started my pension, mm -hmm. I was already on U.S. Secu social security. Mm -hmm. I was getting 90, $90, $90, $20, $9, $9. Nine hundred twenty-nine dollars. Yeah, a week, a month, a month. Um, this is U.S. Social Security you're talking about. Yes. Okay. When I on pension, I was only getting twenty pounds, twenty and two pounds, two pounds, twenty, twenty pounds. I can't I say it. 22 pounds? No, no. Or 220 Two, pounds? 220, yeah. That's 220 was, pounds? 203. 203. 203. Pounds a month. Uh-huh. They weren't giving me much because they said at the time, oh, hey, you're, you're already getting social security in the U.S. So I said, well, they said, so that, that's that's." They probably thought, thought it was too much. Anyway, that's all they gave me. Now when I go back, I want to try to ask them to re reassess my pension so I can get a proper amount. I know they can get enough money to pay my rent there. I can't, I can't pay anything. It's only two, 203 there. 203 pounds. Right. That is a, a situation that you need to uh, sort out with the UK government. Yeah. Uh, but what I want to understand is you never lost that privilege in the UK. No. Of the 203 pounds per month, right? No, I never lost that. So either. how did that, how, how is that 203 pounds 
uh, pay to you on a monthly basis? Do they deposit that directly into they your just, they, they collect it every month and it goes into my account. What it, account? Like an like a escrow account pension. or a bank account? or Barclays Bank. Okay, so it is a bank account. Yeah, but... But I you don't have access to it is what you no. say? No. Okay. I, I, Do I you have... I don't think that's right. I don't think it be, I don't think, think that's correct. Yeah. I'm sorry. What don't, don't you think is correct? About them holding my my Oh, holding your money hostage. Yeah. Okay. Do you have a ATM card to that Barclays bank? I had a, But not anymore. I had uh, yeah, this when you stole my 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 money, he was stole the card. This she, who stole the Filipina or the American? Philippine. When I was coming back in in twenty seventeen, coming back from my hospital stay. I was coming back to the Philippines. I'm lying in the, in the, in the airport. I was checking my email. I was checking my. I, I had three bags with me. Checking my checking checking my emails. Checking everything okay. Uh, it's gone. There goes my, my, there goes my, your bags. Bags. My oh, somebody room. stole your bags from the airport. Yes. And your ATM card and stuff like that was in the bags. And they have, a, they have like a, a little bit, a little larger, but a thick. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, I understand, Ken. And they got a four-digit. Code in there, uh -huh. which enables me to contact my account. All at once, and then it may well be gone. Wait, let, let me interrupt you for a second. Did you ever call your Barclays bank and report the stolen debit card? Yeah. Okay, so no money is missing from your account, though, right? I, I got it. I, I have confirmed that I have got in the account since twenty. 17, a total amount of $27,000. Okay, when did you last confirm that? 2017 or recently? About a month ago. About a month ago. Okay, so like, how did you confirm that? By physically calling them or do you have online access? I've, to I've talked about... The guy that's helping me. Um, what's his name? The guy that is helping you? Yeah. I am not aware of any guy that is helping you. Nah, he's not doing much. Okay, so uh, what we'll do now, Ken, is uh, we'll turn off the camera and we'll look at all the uh, details, the minuscule details, and we'll do our best to track and... Um, put together as many facts as possible. I think this is, uh, oh, by the way, um, no, I lost my train of thought. But yeah, we'll, we'll do as much of uh, tracing as possible, fact finding, and uh, we'll go from there. And maybe we'll turn the camera back on later uh, to kind of conclude the video and see uh, what has been accomplished today, so on or whatnot. And I just want to do this on camera. Um, to kind of hold myself accountable, you know, because this is a huge responsibility in um, having access to your personal information, you know. So uh, I don't want anybody to come accusing me of uh, wrongdoings and stuff like that. So I want to document this on camera, um, uh, not only to help you, but also to protect myself. Yes, of course. Okay, excellent. So we're picking up our conversation here at uh, 10, 18 p.m., uh, which makes it what like about seven eighteen Pacific time back in uh, California. I hope uh, Social Security Department is open based on uh, Eastern time as well. 
uh, to accommodate the Easterners. Uh, but pretty much, you know, we prepared some mangoes and uh, apples here for Ken so he can get some uh, fruit. And um, I'm going to go ahead and let Ken eat the fruit for a while. And then uh, we'll go ahead and carry on and try to call Social Security and get this managed out. Okay, Ken. So um, we're getting ready to call the Social Security uh, Department right now. It's 10.23 p.m. Philippines time, which makes it 10.23 a.m. Eastern time. So uh, I hope that they're open right now and uh, we'll make that attempt uh, but before I call them Ken um, we're trying to figure out you know this uh, that the address that um, uh, that you have on file with the Social Security and you gave me this little you know I guess uh, check stub not check stub but um, that the uh, face of the checkbook with the address uh, printed on here in El Cajon you said uh, no that's that's where my was my my social security was coming out of i was sending a monthly check to the uk address where i was staying where i was where i was having my 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 my, my surgery um, so you had your surgery for your head in oh. the UK? No, I didn't. My, my, my eye. Oh, your eye surgery yeah. was in the UK. When was that? 2019? 17? 17. 2017? Okay, because 2019 you were already in the Philippines. Yes. Okay. So your social security check from the United States was being sent to... So I, uh, so I would send that from my oh your account in the US to the your UK address yes yes and then but they, they have it for 23 days before they cast out the system so how like what when you're physically in the Philippines and you send your Wells Fargo check to the UK, who receives that check? Uh, no social security. So I could, I would, I would pay it out of my social security account. Oh, so you send it directly to your bank in the UK? Is that what you're saying? As a deposit? Um, Am I causing too much stress? No, I'm trying to figure it out. Okay. I was withdraw get getting my my social security paid out of an account in Wells Fargo, the Erica Home address. Uh huh. And then I, I because I was in. I was in the hospital for 11 months. Ah. And then I, I would pay, I, 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 I pay my address. Um, uh, my my address I'm uh, confused it's okay Ken um, I, I, I don't want you to stress okay don't be confused um, don't worry about it I was just asking the question because be, uh, when I call social security yeah. I am um quite certain that they will ask what address do you have on file and I just want to be able to answer that question but since I so, go ahead so then when I completed my surgery mm -hmm. 
in the UK, I I flew back to Cebu, but when I went on the way back to Cebu is when I got my my your, your baggage yeah, stolen. Lost. Yeah, and all your personal information was in your your bag. Everything. Everything in the airport. Everything. Okay. Okay, that's okay, Ken. Uh, for now, I'm gonna turn off the camera while you uh, eat your mangoes and um, apples here, and then I'm gonna initiate the call to Social Security. Okay. And uh, we'll we'll get that figured out. Okay. So whatever questions that they throw our way, I just want to be prepared. But you know, if we don't have it, we don't have it, and we'll see if we can figure it out with Social Security. Okay. Okay. What are you feeling now, Ken? I can't believe this. I, I spent so much time with Ryan. All the calls. We made calls after call. Since last December. I mean, just. I'm. Uh, uh, you're emotional right now, Ken? Yeah. Yeah. I, I waited since last September. Ah, oh, I can't believe it. But ain't they going to repay what they owe me? Yes, Ken. Um, on that note, let me just uh, inform the viewers here of what is going on and why you are so emotional. Oh. Um, I had to turn off the camera earlier because uh, I had to get on the phone with uh, uh, Social Security in an attempt to reinstate Ken's uh, benefits. Uh, of course, you know, I don't want to leave the camera on it because it contains a lot of personal information, including his Social Security number. Um, after a, you know, of course, calling the toll free number, there was like about a 31 minute wait, uh, a 31 minute hold. Um, I suspect that, you know, when I input it, Ken's social security number, you know, it triggers some, I'm sorry, tissue. I suspected that, um, it triggers some kind of uh, anti-fraud protocol uh, that they routed me to an agent uh, immediately without, you know, like um, asking me for further information. Because as I understand it from Ken, uh, there was a few people who have uh, made the same attempt to get the um, updates on the social security number, at least figure out what is going on. Uh, However, you know, which is bittersweet in a sense because uh of this anti-fraud uh mechanism it triggered you know like um and it just brought me to an agent after 31 minute hold and uh after speaking to the agent uh, the agent was asking for um security verification questions like mother's maiden name and you know like social security number date of birth including an address which ken does not have access to uh, his last address was in El Cajon uh, but he has no recollection whatsoever with the address and uh, which caused a problem however uh, Ken does have an inactive Wells Fargo account that um, uh, a check stub uh, however the check stub was to a Wells Fargo uh, account in Great Britain and uh, obviously the um, uh, routing number wasn't matching up. And the, however, the account number was matching up, uh, but we were having a hard time. Uh, um, so I just Googled the routing number for uh, Wells Fargo, which popped up the New York uh, routing number, which didn't match. So that was uh, quite an obstacle. And then it just occurred to me that uh, Ken lived in uh, San Diego for 34 years so I just uh, 
change the keyword, you know, Wells Fargo, California routing number and pop, there we, there we go. And we bypass the, <laughs> we have to use a little, you know, a little uh, streetwise over there, kid. Yeah. We, she was like, no, this is not the uh, correct routing number. No, this is not, this is not. And, um, you know, it just, uh, you know, utilize, cause I, I you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not a man of education. I, I dropped out of high school, as everybody knows. Uh, but, you know, the street raised me, and, um, you know, I just gained a little wisdom, and I guess, um, uh, I don't know, it just helped us a little bit in this situation. But long story short, we were able to satisfy all the uh, security protocols, and... Uh, despite not knowing uh, your your last address in El Cajon there. So uh, we were able to figure out why your benefit stopped, which was because uh, Social Security had been sending you correspondence to the address on file, uh, but all those correspondences were returned to sender. So um, they stopped your benefit because they couldn't communicate with you and they didn't know, you know, what your status was, so on or whatnot. And then uh, today we were able to uh, speak with the representative. I'm going to leave her name out of it. And we were able to update your address to the Philippines here. I don't know how you did that. It's just it's incredible. I tried, honestly, I've tried since September last year. I've tried so much, so many times. I've been in tears. I, I didn't I'm banging my head against the wall. How can I do this? How can I do this? Bingo, you come on here. The first thing you do is you, you solve all the problem. Bingo, it's over. Done with it. I can't believe it. Well, with... All due respect, Ken, you know, like I did spend my life uh, in the sales profession, so I know how to talk to people. And, um, you know, like maybe, maybe, I'm just guessing, um, I don't, I wasn't there when you called them. Maybe your emotions got involved and you were uh, probably volunteering, you know, a lot more information that was not necessary to resolve the problem. So, um, you know, like as you can see today, I, I just got straight to the point speaking to her politely so she can uh, extend the courtesy of patience <laughs> and uh you know we were able to get it resolved uh, took, rather quickly she took a lot of time to do all that work absolutely Fine. it's just a matter of asking the right questions and um you know showing a little gratitude it goes a long way but the point is we got that resolved and then um she was kind enough to give us the, a follow-up, a toll-free follow-up number. Um, and she asked us to follow up, you know, next week within five business days. So it, it means now that my, my benefits will be reinstated? That's what she said. She said, um, you know, the system needs to be updated. So we, don't, we still don't know what the timeline is. She said it will take five you? business days to update the system as far as your address and your benefits being reinstated is concerned. Uh, but there's another obstacle, which is your Wells Fargo account is no longer active right now. So they don't have a way to direct deposit the, your, 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 your benefits right now. So um, that's why I asked the question earlier, if we can update her system, you know, to have a Filipino bank account, which she, she said we can, but it might be a different number, you know, like a, a different tree to bark up, basically. <laughs> so we just have to, uh, you know, take it one step at a time. Let's first get confirmed that, you know, like uh, five days from next week, um, that your benefits is uh, reinstated and retroactive paid. So at least you uh, have that balance there. And then the, the step after that would be to uh, update your banking information. So you can, um, so they can deposit it to the correct bank and you would have access to the funds. So that I would guesstimate that would probably take two to three weeks. Yeah. Uh, but at least, you know, like uh, we produced some results today. And um, 
This is a miracle. Oh. Yeah, I don't blame you for being emotional right now, but um, uh, we got the social security problem solved. Okay, so at least uh, when that happens, you know, at least you have access to some funds and perhaps even enough to pay for the visa overstay penalty. And uh, so you can go back to the UK without... Uh, relying on donations and stuff like that so you yes. can be more independent yes and you would have access to uh quite a bit of money uh will, will be retroactive back from september of last year you said september of 2022 yeah okay so that's more than a year of retroactive pay but, so uh but, but 928 dollars a month yeah times about 14 months september right now we're in october okay it's about 13 months so that's over ten thousand us dollars yeah so you you have the ability to you know like uh well jrc is still doing their their well jrc the uh the immigration the private immigration office is still doing uh the, filing the motions so at least you know like uh you still have to file a motion with the immigration so they can grant you the, the opportunity to pay the penalty yeah. to, to exit the, the Philippines so you don't get blacklisted. Yeah. Okay? But it's getting late now. Uh, we resolve the Social Security uh, situation. We just have to wait, be a little bit patient. Yes. And uh, meanwhile, you know, I'm still going to uh, uh, do my best to provide you with a hot meal. You know, of course, time, you know, when time is allowing, I will bring you uh okay. a hot meal like i've been doing and then if uh if i know that i will be out of town or something then I'll, at least i will uh, provide bernadetta with some uh money to buy some uh meat and stuff like that thank you and you've been taking the ensure protein shake yeah once a day or how yeah. how often once a day once a day you told me so yeah that's it yeah, once a day is great. Yeah, because I don't want you to overdo it and kind of shock your system. And then, uh, you know, we're going to do better with the fruits and vegetables. Yeah. Okay, so you can get some vitamins and uh, essential, you know, vitamin, minerals, whatever it is. I'm not a dietitian, so <laughs> I, I really don't know. Uh, but I know it's getting late and Ken is uh, not rubbing his eye because uh, he feels bothered or um, stressed or anything like that. He just has... Um, uh, you said you're half blind or legally blind? Um, I, I've got, I think I've got in this eye, the good eye, I've got twenty something percent. I can see, I can see, but uh -huh. this eye. Uh, yeah. Ken had, uh, you know, optical surgery a few years back. He does have uh, glasses, uh, but he indicates that, you know, like um, he sees red dots and uh, it does bur like have a burning sensation. So um, that's why he's always rubbing his eyes. It's not because he feels stressed or overwhelmed or anything. From the impact of the fall from the bridge. Yeah, so uh, from the impact of falling off a bridge uh which he you know had endured um uh optical surgery over but it's just the uh, side effects of surgery no that's i think that's my 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 eye transplant I, I, I have oh you have actual transplant yeah well i i had i had yeah I... It's okay, Ken. I just purposely said that because uh, quite a few um, viewers have left comments saying that um, I, I perhaps speak too much and uh, overwhelming you. So I just want to make sure oh, to no, let. No. It's okay. <laughs> yeah, I just want to make sure that I, I you know, because you're, you, you know, I do notice that you, you always rub your eye also, yeah, and you yeah. always have the squint, you know. So I just want to make sure that I'm not overwhelming you. No, 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 no. Okay. So we made a lot of progress today. Huge progress. Huge. So um, it's after midnight now. It's uh, three after midnight here in the Philippines. 
So I'm going to go ahead and wrap this up this video yeah. and I'll walk you home. Oh, and by the way, you know, Ken walked back and forth twice early this afternoon yeah. as well as this evening without rest. The first time that I walked you home when you were uh, that video where you were eating great bacon, you had to uh, stop and rest three times. Yeah. So now you have uh, a little bit more energy so you can go nonstop from here back home yeah. and back here. Yeah. And we did that, you know, uh, two trips today. So, you know, like I'm very happy that you've gained a lot of strength. Yeah. And uh, we just have to pick you up and make this walk more often so you can gain some, uh, gain back a lot of the uh, muscle, uh, muscle tone. Muscle, yeah. Yeah. And then, uh, yeah, we'll do uh, another update video in the next few days uh, with your um um lab results you know if yeah. it's not too intrusive you know we'll decide uh after i read it you know and see if uh, it's necessary to do that and uh the most important thing is um uh to speak to the doctor and find out if um he can sign you off saying that you're fit to fly yeah. and then uh we'll just wait for the social security benefits right now i feel as though i can I, I don't need a plane i can fly in my own <laughs> well let's not get ahead of ourselves too much you know like uh even though we made a lot of progress today again you know it's just like um until the day the money is in your bank account you know it's just uh don't don't be uh you know too happy <laughs> we, we still have to fight okay Kim? yeah okay meanwhile guys thank you very much for your continued support of my channel and uh i am forever grateful until next time y'all have a good one bye Ha, 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 ha.